Hello everybody, my name is Toby Chimp, it's lovely to have you here for another episode of Packer Plus, and it's getting good. It is getting good, well, or kind of bad, potentially, because in the last episode, we had like a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Yukari on the school rooftop on the night of the festival after she sort of woke up from her, her passing out, and I told her that she looked like a, a, a alpaca to me, and it's been a bit awkward today at school, it's the next day after the festival, we've been cleaning up all day, we've not really spoken to each other all day, it's very... Very awkward, I'm not sure what's going to happen. And uh, we're just about to take some some box outside to the costume where we've got the maid cafe costumes. And then we've got a text on our phone from Yukari saying, "Meet me on the rooftop." This could be this could be the end. This could be the end of the the dream team, the dream relationship. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, let's continue. But I felt that she decided something from this short sentence. Uh oh, I thought to make an apply, but stopped. What does that mean? How should I send back? Do I get to choose? I think she has something to tell me about yesterday. Something that she have decided. I was rushed to run up to the roof now, but cool down. If she couldn't receive my words, I've said yesterday, and she said she want to take distance. Uh oh, how should I make a response? Oh, do I get to choose? It can't be beyond the joke now. I told her I feel definitely. I start to explain again, or ask her to believe me again? I have no courage to persuade her in this condition. Then I should listen to her mind, not today, but after I make some measures. And more, I have to bring this costume back so it is easy to pass up. Do I get to choose whether to reply to her, or like go to the roof, or take these costumes back? Give me a choice, I remind myself. But this is just a runaround. Then what should I do? Yeah! Right, so should I reply to saying I'll go ASAP? I'll reply saying sorry I can't go or I couldn't return the mail fast. Okay, so I've just got to choose what to send back. So I just don't reply or I say I can't make it or I say I'll see you in a minute. Mm. I don't want to upset her anymore. I want to see what happens with this relationship. I'll go ASAP, don't worry. I returned her mail. I'll get there as soon as I can. Why don't I believe my girlfriend? <laughs> I have to accept whatever she says. I can return this costume later. It won't be late after I listen to Yukari's words, since the cleaner opens until night. I put the cardboard box in the corner and went to the roof. Oh, Ayaka, she's gonna be mad. What will she talk about? I guess we're about to find out. I couldn't wipe out my anxious thought, but she's the same. I can't only let Yukari be anxious. Here we go. Hey, did you wait? Kazuma... No, I, I just came here and sent a mail. Oh, that's good. I didn't want you to wait. Uh, you're kind. Oh, she's blushing. She didn't seem mad at me. She turns her face red. Thank you for helping me yesterday at the festival. Uh, it's fine. Did I do something? I mean, you stayed with her in the nurse's office until she woke up. And took her to the nurse's office as well, yeah. Yeah, pretty much what she said. Because you're my girlfriend. Duh. Yeah, I'm your girlfriend. But what about this alpaca stuff? It's a little bit awkward. She nodded by herself. Was she satisfied with something? Being on the roof in this time is like blowing off the class. It is. Oh, what's that face? I don't know what that face means. Is it? Oh, suddenly we're just there till night. <laughs> Some went down while we chatted mindlessly. Oh, I'm glad that we're chatting again. That's good. I think we haven't talked the real purpose that we came here. Yeah, the old alpaca thing. Yeah, it's awkward again now. Then, yes, she called me to the roof because she wants someone to talk to me face to face. Yukari understands my feelings, even I don't speak until the end. Is this kind of a and unbreathing? What is this? Is this kind of a and unbreathing? No, not yet. I don't. I don't. Uh, why? <laughs> because I can't understand what she wants to say. Can we get some music back in, please? So I'll listen carefully. Her mind. Her decision. You, you gotta start talking, Yukari. She took a deep breath. I will accept straightly everything she said. You know, I thought about your words yesterday at home. I looked myself in mirror, touched myself, and did many things. Mm. But I only see me as a human. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's cleared up now. I mean, it makes things a little bit 
more awkward, but at least we know that we're losing our mind, I guess. Okay. <laughs> all in all, the world I recognise and the world of others are different. But I don't want to give up with the fact. I want to share your problem and your world. I want to know why they come on our packet to you. The music, I love it, it's so good. So let's find the reason together. Kari. I was encouraged by her words. She said she wanted to share my problem. She believes my words that could sound nonsense and tries to solve. I can't see I'll give up anymore. Women are strong. Thanks. Too fast to say thanks, we didn't solve yet. It is, but I was looking at my girlfriend as you. You didn't laugh, but believe my laughable story and say to solve together. I felt something hot rise over my heart. I was moved to tears, so I turned back from her. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Yukari. Yeah. It's okay, Kazuma. She hugs me softly from my back. Her coat with the sunshine feels so good. We can do it thinking together. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna solve the puzzle. Yes. Together we can. I couldn't say more. It has been many years since I burst into tears. I forgot this feeling for a long time. But I can't show my tears to her. I bared. She strokes gently without a word. St strokes what? What was <laughs> she stroking? We could do it together. No reason. But I could believe in a vague way. Oh. And that was it. I guess we just walked home after that. <laughs> Independently. Today is a holiday in lieu of school festival. Alright. Me and Yukai moved to find the reason why she has changed. Alright. Now it's like a murder mystery sort of thing. <laughs> Who done it? Who turned into an alpaca? We meet at the route to the school as usual. Good morning, Kazuma. Good morning, Yukari. But in fact, we had no idea what to do first. That's a good good, good point. We couldn't talk to somebody yet easily, then how should we find it? You know, Kazuma, I want to make common cognition between us first. Common cognition? Yes, I want to know just from the words what you look in this world. Okay. But uh, how? I'll ask some question. Can you answer straightly? Oh, do I get to choose the answers, please? Goka! I agree with her suggestion. I feel a little scared to the question, but I think we need common cognition. First, this is not question but checking. I look like alpaca in your eyes for my birthday. Before that, I was human to you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it is correct. Then, can you see this? She took out two pictures. I got the picture from her and took a look at them. One is in June on the sports day, the other in the school festival. How do you see these two? Do I get to actually look at them? Or do I just say nothing? I was at a loss for words. I couldn't believe what was in the picture. Show me it! I could imagine that I see human Yukari in the picture on the sports day. But the other one? Yukari in the school festival last day was human too. Oh my god! Mind blown! So it is just... Oh my god, is it just in our mind? Are we, are we actually crazy? How do we tell her? What happened to me? Are we dead? My eyes got crazy? Or my brain? How, how is it? Yeah, I don't know why, but I see both human. Maybe she like tricked us and like they're actually not from those days. Maybe they're both from like a year ago. <laughs> she was like this in maid costume at the festival. Yukari in my memory was cute, but Yukari in his picture was cute too. I'll give them to you. What? You what? I would be shocked if I turned back to human and I was said, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> so we got, we got his pictures to remind ourselves what he actually looked like when you're human. And she got shy. <laughs> Well, it's an embarrassed thing to give one's picture. I will never forget you, Kari, but I'll be glad to have these. But why were the figure in my eyes and in the picture different? Guys, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas. Any theories that are coming out, because I'm, I'm very confused. Not getting close to the answer, but gained more mystery. Then, Kazuma. Yeah, what comes next? Give me a question. Leading by Yukari, I could see something that I've never thought of. It is good not to be alone. Well, this is the last for now, but... She said uncomfortably. 
Is it something difficult to say? Uh, ask me everything. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, then, uh, can you touch me? I mean, that's already happened. Huh? What are you saying, Yukari? We're in public. Jeez, have some, have some respect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! If I'm a packer, my hair grows a lot. Then I want to compare the feelings I was touched and the feelings you were touching. She explained immediately. Oh, I got it, man. This guy's got a dirty mind. Get your mind out the gutter, man. Then it's already experienced. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You know, I've hugged you many times. Oh, yes. It was so comfortable. She's probably gonna be like, oh, that's nice, and they'll be like, yeah, because you're really furry. <laughs> um, well, then you mean... Oh, yes, she couldn't understand just saying comfortable. <laughs> Your hair is really those of alpaca, fluffy and comfortable, that I wanted to touch forever. <laughs> it added last. Even I like alpaca. I don't want to touch fluffy things in summer. <laughs> I see. Not just the vision, but sense of touch is alpaca too. I see. Not, okay, that's what I just said. Not just a vision, but but sense of touch is alpaca too. Sense of touch? Yeah, maybe. It is true that if I feel her... It is true that if I feel her like alpaca, my eyes are not going crazy. Could still be a brain thing though. Probably got like a, a tumour or something. <laughs> okay, my check is over. Do you have anything to ask me instead? No, it's okay. Then let's find what to do from now. I've got. Where do we go from here? Like, where do we start? We find something talking, but we should move on from this holiday. Oh, what should we do? It's a good question. I have no idea, honestly. Where do we go from? Oh, how about searching the library? I mean, like, like why for research? I'm thinking of going to the hospital. Get my brain checked. That's a good idea. Let's go to a kingdom again. Hmm. Um. I don't think you're going to find anything in the library, personally. I think the hospital is like a good idea, logically, because they, maybe they can like scan your brain and give you some kind of idea of what's happened. <laughs> but I kind of like the idea of going back to the kingdom again, because that's where it started. And maybe something, some events will reoccur and it will turn it back. I don't know, that's where it all started. It makes sense to go there for clues. Maybe it was like the alpaca food there. She, maybe she ate some, or maybe I ate some. I don't know. Let's go back to the kingdom. Let's go to the kingdom again. From now? Yes, right now. I turned like this on the way back from the kingdom. So maybe there's some clue. Exactly. Maybe it is, but too far. I know. I, I thought something like this might happen. I searched for the bus yesterday night. You are a dedicated person in some place. <laughs> Thank you. She looks like she'd become curious that I was well prepared. Well, sometimes I can be prepared. She laughed bitterly, but since we had no other idea, we decided to go to Alpaca Kingdom. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, brings back memories. Being on the bus when we first woke up. And there she was, dressed like that. The bus to the kingdom was unoccupied, sorry, since it was a weekday. Not including us, it was occupied by couples and family, just five seats. So other people are curious about us students coming to this far in the, week in the weekday. Well, but we were lucky that we had holiday in Lou. Whoa! What the fuck? What, what, what just happened? Yeah, yeah, it's not crowded. I mean, it is crowded. We've got two Yukaris. Two Yukari alpacas merged. What is this? I want to see alpaca. I can see plenty of alpaca right now. Two of them. What has happened? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> the bus guide and other passengers looked at us coldly, so we act like this. And hoping we could arrive at Alpaca Kingdom faster. Jeez, that was that was scary. Alright, we're here again. Is that is that your family in the background, Yukari? <laughs> um, we are here! Air is fresh since there are mountains nearby. All told, we were on the bus for a few hours. Jeez, that was uncomfortable. A strange view that dozens of fluffy alpacas sitting on the huge grass as if they owned it. And they kinda do. It's like their home. But this is usual in this place. Stop tilting your head over and over again. Yes, we are now in Alpaca Kingdom. I want to see Alpaca one by one and take pictures in an ordinary way, but we can't enjoy since we came to solve Yukari's mystery today. I've got no idea what we're going to do, by the way. But before that... Hey, 
Yukari, aren't you hung- Oh, <laughs> are we gonna feed us some with our pack of food? Aren't you hungry? Yeah, a little. I haven't eaten anything in the bus. I'm too hungry, so let's go to that- Oh man, <laughs> let's go to the cafe. I found the board said, Cafe that you can see our packet from here, so we decided to go in. I can always see our packet. <laughs> Looking at the watch, it pasted noon already. And we found ourselves not eating anything, so we ate late lunch. <laughs> Give us some of the alpaca food. Uh, hey, cafe that you can see alpaca from here means just a tent. We didn't see this kind of cafe last time, so maybe it was open recently. We ordered alpaca lunch, alpaca curry, uh, and fluffy salad, which all came, which all name came from alpaca. Alpaca curry? We're not gonna eat alpaca, are we? Yukari, are you, are you okay with this? I know you're, you're not, at least you don't think that you're an alpaca and nobody else sees you as an alpaca, but I do. I'm not sure I want to see cannibalism, to be honest. Alpaca lunch was just a loco moco that, hu that hamburger and salad were on the rice. <laughs> alpaca curry, Yukari ordered, was only a curry with egg designed like an alpaca. Okay, that's fine. It is normal than the name. Tastes normal too. <laughs> Oh dear. You enjoy the atmosphere in like this kind of cafe? You're right, you got the wrong drawer again! It's the apostrophe RE. But the problem is that we have to we have time to enjoy or not. Yes. What should we do now? Well we doubt that we could find the reason in our pack of kingdom, but we came here to find we had no idea what where and what to see. If I talked to a visitor that I see her like a packer all of a sudden. We would be awkward to get on the bleeding bus. <laughs> but not acting anything for what we came here. There are many alpacas. Uh -oh. I mumbled, looking at alpacas fed by staff, far ahead on the rock. Yukari looked at me a little huffed. <laughs> you mean I'm included? I mean, in my mind. Uh, no, you're mistaken. There are alpacas gathering on the rock. Look, there they are, they're over there. I spitted out some water from the mouth, <laughs> hearing the exact words. Oh, my Kazuma! Well, I don't care anymore, but wipe your mouth! Oh, oh shit, what'd I do? <laughs> Sorry, she wiped my mouth with the napkin. Hey, I can do it by myself, Mum. Oh, I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, oh you're right, I'll, I'll bring another water. It's fine. Staff brings a towel and another water, looking my spitting the water. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. No problem. I hope your clothes didn't get wet. Uh oh. I checked my clothes on the wood, but it was a little wet, so no problem. It's okay, thank you very much. Never mind. Are, are you both student? Uh, duh, obviously. Uh, well, yes, today is a holiday in lieu of our school festival. So we came here where we have many memories. We have one memory in particular here. But let's not go into it. Oh, oh you two are getting along well. I'm proud that you have memories here. Watching the staff's an easy laugh. We smiled naturally. I think the staff works here. Well, because she loves alpaca in this alpaca kingdom. Okay. I was going to say, I think the staff works here. Well, obviously. That's why she's staff. But no, that makes that makes more sense. What? Then maybe she knows about our problem working here. Um, This is going to be awkward. Can I ask you something? Sure. May I help? How are you going to word this, Kazuma? How should I say? A human, have you ever seen a human like alpaca? A human like alpaca? You mean, you mean the inner animal suit? No, I mean the figure looks like alpaca. Have you ever heard about it like this before? <laughs> you can't always not um, I've never. There are kids who want to be like alpaca, but not that. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting much more than this. And then I can't help you, sorry. Eh, it's, it's no biggie. Sorry for asking such a dumb question, that's... Yeah, good point, Yukari. I'm sorry, let's get out of here, this is, this is awkward. We apologise and the staff went back to the cafe. Hmm, it's hard to ask someone than I thought. That staff was kind to listen to our story, but... usually get unheard since the story is nonsense. <laughs> yeah, then what should we do? I'll ask more neatly next time. Well, good luck, Yukari. I look forward to seeing how you phrase it. Yeah, that's better. I would say something strange. Let's go. Who are you going to ask? 
Ghostbuster. After we had like lunch, we went to the ranching area with the alpaca. All right, Ikari, you're up. Um, sorry for interrupting. Um, what, what is it? I tried to talk to the breeding staff preparing the food for our packer. Because I couldn't ask someone who looks grumpy. But he looked gentle. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that you love animal too much? That human that looks like an animal? Mmm. Getting into dangerous territories here, Yukari. For example, human changes into an alpaca? Like, how is that a better phrasing than what I did in the shop? <laughs> oh, the breeding member here loves animals, but... Human looks like alpaca? Breeding staff was here in Yukari's neat and clear-cut question. Mm, well, I sometimes feel like I become a member of the animal when touching. This is... This is uncomfortable. Yeah, well, maybe. But I had never seen someone's face like an animal. Yeah, you're yeah, right. She dropped the shoulders with the staff's proper answer. Oh. Uh, and, and, if I tell that thing to other breeding staff, I could lose my job since they think I've become neurotic. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's right, yes, thank you very much. Uh, that doesn't help us at all. Thank you very much. Well, it's natural. Too much to say emotional breakdown though. <laughs> Don't look like that, Kazuma. Yeah, I can't give up here. Where else can we go? I said, like, I encourage myself, but my mind doesn't clear that easily. Oh yes, why don't we do all the thing we did last time? I thought that's what we're going to do anyway. Oh well, maybe there'll be a clue. Hopefully there'll be a clue. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go feed some packers, and that'll be awkward. I find the trustworthy in the person of Yukari thinking some idea in a situation. <laughs> then start from the entrance. Alright, let's get back. This is going to be good. So we reconstruct the last date as we can. Feeding our packer, no change. Walking with our packer, of course, no change. Yukari touches our packer, no change at all. I touched our packer, no sign at all. I was spat by our packer, no change. <laughs> well, I was spat in a unilateral way because our packer were displeased. Why, what do you do? Doesn't work! We were at a complete loss doing all the things that we could do and think. Too late, Yukari. <sighs> I was sitting on the bench drinking the juice, waiting for her to come back since she wanted to go to the bathroom. This is just the same as the date last time. What on earth should we do? Looking at the sky, sun shining on the highlands, and white clouds go by. So I'm just getting down, so I feel the light too shiny. Moisture laden wind through me, but though me sorry, but I couldn't feel my heart lifted. Sorry for waiting. Huh? What happened? Ah, oh, welcome back. All of a sudden, I was covered with coat and her face showed up. <laughs> we had no progress. The time is... My watch shows early evening already. We couldn't get home if we missed the bus an hour later. What on earth is the reason? What should we do? As I grit my teeth with regret, Yukari sits next to me gently. Kazuma. Her hair was warm. Her hair with warm sunlight wraps around my arm. Feeling her gentle sun perfume, irritation in my mind has disappeared. There is a day like this. Don't feel pressed. Since we are here, let's enjoy like we are on a date. Yukari. This is... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of difficult to have a date though when trying to figure out if I'm going crazy or not. Like, that's always going to be on my mind. Hey, I'm interested in the alpaca in soft cream I saw there. What? <laughs> what is inside? You two are interested. Let's go. I mean, I'm mean interested, but I mean, kind of worried as well. Hey, don't don't pull me. Hurry up! All right, calm down. Calm down. As she pulls my arm cleverly, she runs to the shop which was sold. I stood up from the bench as I was pulled and ran together. At last, we could find no hint in our packet kingdom. But me and Yukari made another page of our memory. Maybe we had some advantage somehow. After we enjoyed our pack of kingdom, we went home getting on the same bus. And we're home, thank god. But you know, when it happened last time, it was when we were on the bus. Like we fell asleep on the bus, I think. And then we woke up and then she was in our packer. So I'm kind of annoyed that we didn't fall asleep on the bus again. 
and you know have a little moment there where she was or wasn't and I'm back again anyway we're back is it that late it's pretty late yes it is sorry for taking you around this late you're wrong Kazuma she points at me with a finger has she got fingers you mean not sorry but oh yes we made a promise to solve together Yukari, thank you so much today. Yeah, it was it was fine. We didn't find out the the secret to the mystery, but we'll keep searching. You've got it. Let's try it tomorrow. Yes, game is over when stop trying. Good good advice there. Game is over when stop trying. You know it. Then see you tomorrow. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning. All right. Looking forward to it. To my house? No, that's that's too far. <laughs> Come on, it's your girlfriend, man. You go, you go to her house. I'm not that morning person. <laughs> I can do it if she says so. Uh, I know. See you tomorrow here. She's, she's too good for you, man. She lolls out. Lol. Oh, you tease me. I always believe straightly to her words unknowingly. This is one of her fascination. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I watched her get on the bus and went home. We started to search for the reason, but we couldn't find a little. Can we find some kind of hint tomorrow? Find out next time. No, I shouldn't have think it backward. I believe we could find we could find something tomorrow. Oh, jeez, I gotta I gotta stop this. I gotta end this episode before we go on all eternity. But uh, yeah, second ever research didn't advance as intended. Are we back at school? It looks like it. Anyway, we'll find that in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, it's a bit longer than normal. But, you know, this is captivating stuff. Anyway, I will see you next time. If you'd like, feel free to click either of these two videos to watch some more content of mine. And if you'd like, and if you haven't already, feel free to click the circular button to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.